Good morning, fellas, and welcome back to Me Plays Games, the show with too many silent letters and diacritics to count. My name is Matt, and a while back I fell down a rabbit hole of linguistics with no end in sight. So today we'll be looking at the different languages speedrunners use, depending on the game they're playing. There's actually quite a lot of cases where that makes a difference, so we'll be taking a look at some of those. We'll be talking about speedruns in languages like Japanese, Italian, Swedish, and nothing. Alright, let's get started. The Simpsons Hit and Runs All Story Missions category is fastest in Spanish, saving a small chunk of time because of how the game was localized. In this game, you switch vehicles in phone booths, and the order they appear in is always alphabetical. So you can save time by finding which language minimizes the amount of time you spend in phone booths, specifically which one requires scrolling through the fewest vehicles to get to the ones you need. And the best language for that is Spanish. Therefore, this game is played in English. Yeah, there's just one problem with the Spanish version of the game, but it's a major one. Whenever you enter the observatory in Spanish, the game has a 25% chance of just crashing. If the gag with groundskeeper Willie and his pick plays when you're inside, the game will crash. And you have to go there twice, once with Lisa and once with Bart, so the odds of the run just passing away in front of your eyes are around 44%. So runners will play in English instead, the second fastest language. As of earlier this year, though, runners are allowed to use a mod that changes the dialogue in the English version to Spanish, effectively eliminating the possibility of this crash. Ever since this mod was allowed, a few native Spanish speakers have started running the game. Spanish is actually technically the optimal language for every category, aside from New Game Plus. But the fastest stable version is either English or French, depending on what category you're doing. German would be faster than English for all tasks, but that one's not stable either. One of the most common languages to speedrun games in is Japanese. One reason is because with a lot of older games, the Japanese versions are the first ones to come out, so they might have glitches and mechanics that are fixed or modified before the game is released internationally. Take Mario Kart 64 as an example. The Toad's Turnpike world record is set on the Japanese cartridge, because the original version of the game has a different way of determining where you respawn on the track when you fall off. Check out my Mario Kart 64 video for a more detailed explanation, link in the description. Occasionally, the level design also might be altered between the Japanese and international releases. In Super Mario 64, this star in Jolly Roger Bay is sitting out in the open in the Japanese version. In the other versions, you have to break open a box and watch a cutscene play before you can collect it. This is one reason that the Japanese version of Super Mario 64 is faster for the 120 star category. Yeah, I'll probably get around to a full 120 star video at some point. The other reason speedruns in Japanese are common is because of the way it's written, which is way more character efficient than a lot of other languages. Languages like English, French, Russian, and Greek use alphabets, where consonants and vowels have separate characters. Japanese uses three writing systems in tandem with each other, all of which condense the same amount of information into fewer characters than you can with alphabets. The first two are hiragana and katakana. These are known as syllabaries, because instead of having a distinct character for each consonant and each vowel, these systems have characters for every possible syllable instead. So one hiragana or katakana in Japanese is equivalent to up to three English letters. Here's the hiragana for the syllable ka, and here's chi. So you can see that what English does with two or three letters, Japanese can often do with just one character. The third component of Japanese writing is kanji. Kanji is a logography, which is a system where characters are equivalent to entire words. Combining kanji with syllabaries results in an efficient written language, one where you can convey the same amount of information with way fewer characters than English. That means that in a lot of games, there will be less text to scroll through in Japanese than other languages that use alphabets. There are plenty of games where top runners use Japanese for these two reasons, but a few examples are Kirby Air Ride, most categories of Super Mario 64, Bomberman Hero, and Ape Escape 2. I cut out a lot of info from this video going more in depth on writing systems, so if you'd like to see another video where I talk more about Japanese and other non-alphabet writing systems, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying yourself so far. So, I just talked about Kanji the Japanese logography, but those characters actually come from Chinese, whose writing system is also a logography, so whenever Chinese is available, it's often the fastest language since logographies are more efficient than syllabaries. Some games that are run in Chinese include Super Mario Odyssey, Hollow Knight, Paper Mario the Origami King, and Titanfall 2. Hmm. We'll get back to Titanfall 2 in a second though, because there's a lot to cover about that game specifically. One notable exception is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. If the language you use makes a notable difference, you'll usually want to play in either Chinese or Japanese. 
Chinese isn't an option here, and while Japanese is available in this game, it's actually the slowest language you can choose. In the original GameCube version of the game, runners use Japanese like you'd probably expect, but the developers changed the text speed for most languages in the Wii U remake. In Japanese, the text appears at a rate of one character per frame, but in every other language it's four characters per frame. This makes English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish all faster than Japanese. Out of the five alphabet-based languages, the Italian version has the least text, so it's the fastest language for speedrunning Wind Waker HD. The run features a tech called Super Swimming that involves pausing over and over and over. As a result, the Italian word for pause, pausa, has become a meme in the Wind Waker speedrunning community. That's great, I love it. I might cover Wind Waker tech in detail in a full video about the game at some point, we'll see. For now, go check out Linkus7's video about a new version of Super Swimming, link in the description. Unfortunately, Italian is only available on the PAL version of this game, which is sold in Europe. That means you need a European copy of the game and a European Wii U to play in Italian. Hmm. If you only have access to the NTSC U version of the game, which is sold in the Americas, Spanish is your best option. It's faster than English and only slightly slower than Italian. If you've got a Japanese Wii U, you're out of luck since you can't play in a language other than Japanese. You can technically play in Italian on any Wii U, but you need to do some homebrew shenanigans for NTSC consoles, and you still need a PAL disc. You know, I've been taking Italian in college, and I think it's a neat language, but hey, have you considered having fewer articles? Why are there seven words for the- So, remember in the intro when I said we'd be looking at a speedrun in the language of nothing? Well, here it is. In the PAL version of Crash Team Racing, you can press triangle on the language selection screen, which takes you out of the menu without selecting a language. Yeah man, I speak English, but I'm also fluent in hyphen. What's happening is that the game is attempting to load Japanese text and voice clips, but it won't find any since this is the European version of the game. As a result, there won't be any audible dialogue either. I swung by the Crash Speedrunning Discord server to ask about it. While I was there, I learned that the Japanese version was developed while they were making the PAL version as well, and the letters CBR appear in the tokens. CBR is the game's acronym in Japan, since it's called Crash Bandicoot Racing there. There's plenty of other evidence of the connection between the Japanese and European versions. Remember how I made a joke about how I speak fluent hyphen? Well, that's actually a katakana, specifically the vowel extender. So as an example, in Japanese, this is E, but this is E. The horizontal line turns short vowels into long ones. The vowel extender is in the same places as the Japanese version of the game, further proving that the European game is trying to load Japanese text that doesn't exist. This glitch also has some other weird side effects. The boss's heads will swap with one another, the tutorial at the start is shorter because there's no dialogue, and you're also able to skip the first Komodo Joe cutscene. Without this glitch, the PAL version of the game would be way worse for speedruns. Not only is it harder to play, but it also runs at a slower frame rate compared to the NTSC versions. NTSC runs at 30 frames per second, but PAL runs at 25. But the no language glitch actually makes PAL viable as well. There are some games where you have to wait for characters to finish speaking, in which case the fastest language depends on how quickly each language's lines of dialogue are spoken. The Harry Potter series of games have a bunch of cutscenes, and with so many languages available on PC, runners have done a ton of research to figure out which ones are optimal for each game. Currently, the world record in Philosopher's Stone uses Norwegian, Chamber of Secrets is in Swedish, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, and both parts of Deathly Hallows are in English, Order of the Phoenix is in French, and Half-Blood Prince is in Spanish. There's another pretty similar case in another Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. This game also features some unskippable cutscenes with voice acting, like the Sheikah Slate one at the beginning. If you watch the world records for the different categories, you'll see languages like French for any percent and Italian for all dungeons. Titanfall 2 is another similar case. The dialogue is fastest in Mandarin Chinese, so that's the languages speedrunners will use. Mandarin saves over 30 seconds compared to English, with German also not too far behind. If you watch Zweek's world record, you might think to yourself, wait, this is in English. And you would be right. Sort of. There's actually a mod most runners use that changes the text back to English, but it keeps the faster Mandarin dialogue. So technically, a lot of people are actually running the game in two languages at once, which I think is fun. Some people, like second place runner Brian Ado, run the game without the mod and keep the Chinese text, but that's less common. Let's also take a second to appreciate the World Record Runs comment section on speedrun.com. Woj. The leaderboard also used to have an extra column showing what language each run was played in, but after a while, more and more time submitted were in Mandarin, so the distinction between languages became less useful. That's also part of the reason I also thought, wait, this is in English, when I went through the top 10 runs. 
I saw that eight of them had English text, and I wasn't yet aware of the language mod, so I didn't think to listen to the dialogue. This is why you double check your information with experts, ladies and gentlemen. As of now, the fastest run done entirely in English is this 35th place run by Titan Tether. And I'd just like to apologize if that pronunciation was wrong. Well, that'll do it for this video. I've been wanting to do this format of video for a while, one where I go through a bunch of games and discuss one aspect of them. Leave a comment if you know of any other games that use specific languages in speedruns, and I might make a part two. I'll see you all later, Good night, fellas, sleep well.